The preface of Breaking the Habits of Being Yourself by Joe Dispenza sets the foundation for the book's main theme, How to Break Free from Self-Destructive Habits and Rewire the Brain for a Better Future. The author presents a compelling argument for why change is necessary and how our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors are interconnected. He also emphasizes the importance of understanding how the brain works and how we can use this knowledge to create positive changes in our lives. Dispenza introduces the concept of neuroplasticity, which is the brain's ability to change and adapt throughout our lives. He explains that our brains are wired to create habits, which are patterns of behavior that we repeat over time until they become automatic. While habits can be beneficial, they can also be harmful and difficult to break. To create lasting change, Dispenza suggests that we need to change our thought patterns, emotions, and behaviors. He provides tools and techniques that readers can use to shift their mindset and create new neural pathways in the brain. He emphasizes the importance of mindfulness, meditation, and visualization in this process. Overall, the preface provides valuable insights into the science of neuroplasticity and how we can use this knowledge to create positive changes in our lives. It sets the stage for the rest of the book, which offers practical advice and exercises to help readers break free from self-destructive habits and create a better future. Part 1. The Science of You Chapter 1. The Quantum You In Chapter 1, Dispenza introduces readers to the concept of the quantum self. He explains that at the quantum level, everything is made up of energy and that our thoughts and emotions are also made up of energy. Dispenza explains that we are constantly creating our reality through our thoughts and emotions. He argues that we have the power to change our reality by changing our thoughts and emotions. By doing so, we can change our vibrational frequency, which will attract new experiences into our lives. The author provides scientific evidence to support this idea, including research on quantum physics and the placebo effect. He also provides examples of how people have used these principles to create positive changes in their lives. To start tapping into the power of the quantum self, Dispenza suggests that readers begin by becoming more aware of their thoughts and emotions. He recommends meditation and visualization as powerful tools for shifting our vibrational frequency and creating new experiences. Overall, Chapter 1 provides readers with a new perspective on reality and the power that we have to create our own experiences. It sets the stage for the rest of the book, which offers practical tools and techniques for harnessing this power and breaking free from self-destructive habits. Chapter 2, Overcoming Your Environment Chapter 2, Dispenza focuses on the impact that our environment has on our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. The author argues that our environment can either support or hinder our ability to create positive changes in our lives. Dispenza explains that our environment includes everything from our physical surroundings to the people we surround ourselves with. He emphasizes the importance of creating a positive environment that aligns with our goals and aspirations. The author provides practical tips for overcoming a negative environment, including decluttering our physical space, surrounding ourselves with positive people, and creating a vision board to focus our thoughts and emotions. Dispenza also explains the concept of epigenetics, which is the study of how our environment can affect the expression of our genes. He provides examples of how people have used this knowledge to overcome chronic illnesses and other health challenges. Overall, Chapter 2 emphasizes the importance of creating a positive and supportive environment for achieving our goals. It provides readers with practical tools and techniques for overcoming a negative environment and creating a space that aligns with their aspirations. By doing so, readers can start to shift their thoughts, emotions, and behaviors in a positive direction and break free from self-destructive habits. Chapter 3, Overcoming Your Body Chapter 3 focuses on the relationship between the mind and the body. The author argues that our thoughts and emotions have a profound impact on our physical health and well-being. Dispenza explains that the body is constantly regenerating itself through a process called cellular turnover. He emphasizes the importance of using our thoughts and emotions to support this process by focusing on positive and healthy thoughts. The author also discusses the concept of psychoneuroimmunology, which is the study of how the mind and body are interconnected. He provides examples of how people have used this knowledge to overcome chronic illnesses and other health challenges. 
to overcome our body, Dispenza suggests practicing mindfulness, meditation, and visualization. These practices can help us become more aware of our thoughts and emotions and learn to control them in a positive way. Overall, Chapter 3 provides readers with a new perspective on the mind-body connection and the importance of using our thoughts and emotions to support our physical health and well-being. It offers practical tools and techniques for practicing mindfulness, meditation, and visualization to overcome negative patterns and create positive changes in our lives. By doing so, readers can start to shift their thoughts, emotions, and behaviors in a positive direction and break free from self-destructive habits. Before we continue, we would like to inform you that we release these summaries in audio format on Spotify before we release them on YouTube in video format, with subtitles. We have also created a gold mine of information which you can get exclusive access to by supporting us on Patreon. You get in-depth summaries plus scripts, usually twice the length of our YouTube content, a list of the top 20 key takeaways and exercises, summary requests, and more. Thank you for the support and don't forget to hit the like button. Chapter 4, Overcoming Time Chapter 4 focuses on the concept of time and how it affects our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. The author argues that our perception of time can either limit us or empower us to create positive changes in our lives. Dispenza explains that our brains are wired to live in the past and the future, and that this can prevent us from being fully present in the moment. He provides examples of how people have used mindfulness and meditation to overcome this tendency and learn to focus on the present moment. The author also discusses the concept of quantum time, which suggests that time is not linear but rather exists in a state of possibility. He explains that by learning to control our thoughts and emotions, we can tap into this state of possibility and create positive changes in our lives. To overcome time, Dispenza suggests practicing mindfulness, meditation, and visualization to focus on the present moment and create a positive future. He also recommends setting clear goals and taking action towards achieving them. Overall, Chapter 4 provides readers with a new perspective on time and its impact on our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. It offers practical tools and techniques for practicing mindfulness, meditation, and visualization to overcome negative patterns and create positive changes in our lives. By doing so, Readers can start to shift their thoughts, emotions, and behaviors in a positive direction and break free from self-destructive habits. Chapter 5, Survival vs. Creation In Chapter 5 explores the concept of survival versus creation. He explains that our brains are wired for survival, meaning we are constantly seeking safety and security. However, this survival mindset can limit our potential for growth and prevent us from achieving our goals. Dispenza argues that to create the life we want, we must learn to think and act in new ways. He provides examples of people who have overcome their survival mindset and achieved great success in their personal and professional lives. To shift from a survival mindset to a creative mindset, Dispenza suggests practicing mindfulness, visualization, and positive self-talk. He also recommends setting clear goals and taking consistent action towards achieving them. The author emphasizes the importance of taking responsibility for our thoughts and actions, rather than blaming external circumstances for our failures. He encourages readers to focus on their strengths and talents, rather than their limitations. Overall, Chapter 5 offers valuable insights into how our survival mindset can limit our potential for growth and success. It provides practical tools and techniques for shifting from a survival mindset to a creative mindset, including mindfulness, visualization, and positive self-talk. By adopting these practices and taking responsibility for our thoughts and actions, readers can break free from self-limiting patterns and create the life they desire. Part 2, Your Brain and Meditation Chapter 6, Three Brains, Thinking to Doing to Being In Chapter 6, Dispenza introduces the concept of the three brains, the neocortex, limbic brain, and cerebellum, and how they work together to create our experiences. The neocortex is responsible for our analytical and rational thinking, while the limbic brain governs our emotions and feelings. The cerebellum is responsible for our automatic, habitual actions. Dispenza argues that our habitual thoughts and actions are created by the limbic brain and cerebellum, 
which work together to form neural networks in our brains. These networks then shape our experiences and perceptions of the world. To break free from these self-limiting patterns, Dispenza suggests using our neocortex to create new neural networks through intentional, conscious thought and action. He recommends practicing mindfulness and visualization to help rewire our brains and create new, more positive experiences. The author emphasizes the importance of consistency and repetition in creating new habits and neural networks. He also encourages readers to embrace discomfort and take risks in order to grow and create the life they desire. Overall, Chapter 6 offers valuable insights into how our brains create our experiences and how we can use intentional, conscious thought and action to create new neural networks and break free from self-limiting patterns. By practicing mindfulness and visualization, embracing discomfort, and taking consistent action towards our goals, readers can rewire their brains and create the life they desire. Chapter 7, The Gap The gap refers to the space between the thoughts that we have which is an essential part of meditation. Dispenza explains that the gap is a significant factor in achieving self-change and personal transformation. In this chapter, he describes the gap in detail and explains how it can be used to rewire the brain for positive change. Dispenza suggests that we can use the gap to move from being a victim to becoming a creator of our reality. He advises readers to become more mindful of their thoughts and to focus on observing them, rather than getting caught up in them. By doing this, we can begin to identify and change the limiting beliefs and negative thought patterns that are holding us back. The author also emphasizes the importance of creating new habits that support our desired outcomes. He suggests that we can use the gap to create new neural pathways that align with our goals and aspirations. By consistently focusing on these new habits, we can rewire our brains and create a new, more positive reality. In summary, the gap is an essential tool for personal transformation and self-change. By using the gap to observe our thoughts and create new habits, we can rewire our brains and become the creators of our reality. Chapter 8, Meditation, Demystifying the Mystical, and Waves of Your Future In Chapter 8, Dispenza explores the intersection of science and spirituality, and how quantum physics is providing insights into the mystical experiences that people have reported for centuries. He explains how our thoughts and emotions create energy that goes out into the world and interacts with the quantum field, influencing what comes back to us in the form of events and circumstances. Dispenza also discusses the concept of waves of potential, which are like a blueprint of our future that we can tap into by aligning our energy with them. He explains that by focusing on the emotions and feelings we want to experience in the future, rather than just the material things we want to acquire, we can begin to attract those experiences to us. The chapter includes several practical exercises to help readers tap into this wave of potential, including meditation, visualization, and creating a vision board. Dispenza emphasizes that the key to accessing this wave of potential is to stay in the present moment and avoid getting caught up in old thought patterns or emotions that keep us stuck in the past. Overall, this chapter provides a fascinating exploration of the relationship between science and spirituality, and offers practical tools for tapping into the wave of potential that exists all around us. Part 3, Stepping Toward Your New Destiny Chapter 9, The Meditative Process, Introduction and Preparation In Chapter 9, Dispenza introduces the reader to the meditative process and how to prepare for it. He explains that meditation is a means of creating coherence between your thoughts and your emotions to produce a state of inner harmony, and how the correct mental state can affect our genetic expression. He also discusses the importance of preparation for meditation, such as choosing a time and place where you won't be interrupted and having a clear intention for what you want to achieve during the meditation. Dispenza explains that one of the keys to successful meditation is to become an observer of your thoughts, rather than being caught up in them. By doing this, you can learn to quiet your mind and access a state of deep relaxation. He also discusses the importance of breathing techniques to calm the body and mind, as well as visualization exercises to focus your attention. Finally, Dispenza emphasizes that the meditative process is not just about achieving a certain state of mind during the meditation, but rather about integrating the benefits of the practice into your daily life. By cultivating a daily meditation practice, 
you can begin to rewire your brain and transform your habits and behaviors for the better. Chapter 10, Open the Door to Your Creative State, Week 1 In this chapter, Dispenza introduces a one-week program that focuses on opening the door to the creative state. He explains that during this week, it is important to become aware of the automatic habits and patterns that keep one stuck in the same old reality. Dispenza recommends that during this week, one should try to be mindful of their thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. One should observe their habits and patterns and make a conscious effort to change them. Dispenza suggests several activities that can help one become more mindful, such as journaling, meditation, and mindful breathing. He also encourages readers to create a clear vision of their future selves during this week. This involves imagining oneself as a new person, free from old habits and patterns, and with a new sense of purpose and direction. By focusing on this vision, one can begin to manifest it into reality. Overall, this chapter is a practical guide on how to become more mindful and create a clear vision for one's future. By following the exercises and recommendations outlined in this chapter, one can start to break free from old patterns and open the door to a more creative and fulfilling life. Chapter 11, Prune Away the Habit of Being Yourself, Week 2 In Chapter 11, Dispenza delves deeper into the second week of his meditative process, which involves pruning away old habits and behaviors that no longer serve us. He explains how the brain is malleable and can be rewired to create new neural pathways that support new habits and behaviors. Dispenza offers practical techniques, such as visualization and affirmations, to help readers let go of old thought patterns and beliefs and create new, more positive ones. Dispenza emphasizes the importance of consistency and repetition in this process, stating that it takes time and effort to rewire the brain. He suggests that readers create a daily routine that incorporates the techniques he recommends and stick to it for at least 45 minutes a day. The author also encourages readers to become more aware of their thoughts and emotions throughout the day and to actively work to replace negative thoughts with positive ones. He explains that this awareness and mindfulness can help create a more positive and fulfilling life. Overall, Chapter 11 provides practical tools for readers to begin the process of creating new habits and behaviors that align with their desired future. By focusing on pruning away old patterns and creating new ones, readers can begin to reshape their lives and achieve their goals. Chapter 12, Dismantle the Memory of the Old You, Week 3 In Chapter 12, Dispenza discusses the third week of the meditative process. This week is all about dismantling the memory of the old self. The author suggests that when people continuously think and behave in a certain way, their brain's neurons wire together, creating a neural network that supports the old self. To dismantle this network, one needs to unlearn their old self by reprogramming their thoughts and behaviors. The author emphasizes that the focus of this week should be on unlearning old beliefs and habits. It is crucial to stop reinforcing the old self with repetitive thoughts and behaviors. Instead, one should start focusing on creating new beliefs and habits that are aligned with their desired future self. The author suggests that during this week, one should try to visualize themselves as their new self and focus on how it feels to be that person. Dispenza also advises readers to be patient during this process since dismantling the old self's memory takes time. It is essential to acknowledge the progress made and celebrate the small successes along the way. The author suggests that by the end of this week, readers will have a clearer idea of who they want to be and what they want to achieve. Chapter 13, Create a New Mind for Your New Future Week 4. In Chapter 13, Dispenza focuses on the fourth and final week of his meditative program, where he discusses creating a new mind for a new future. He explains that during this week, people have the opportunity to start living from a new state of being by making it more tangible through action. He recommends the use of a coherent language that is consistent with the reality you want to create. This means that your thoughts, actions, and feelings should be congruent with the new reality you are trying to create. Dispenza also suggests that people take inventory of their lives, and get rid of any old habits, beliefs, or behaviors that do not align with their new reality. This means that they need to let go of any old emotions, limiting beliefs, or memories that keep them stuck in their past. Instead, they should choose new emotions, beliefs, 
and behaviors that align with their new reality. Finally, Dispenza advises people to embody their new state of being by taking action towards their new reality. This means that they should be consistent in their thoughts, emotions, and actions, and continuously remind themselves of the new reality they are creating. By doing so, they will begin to create new neural connections in their brain, which will help them to manifest their new reality. Chapter 14, Demonstrating and Being Transparent, Living Your New Reality Chapter 14, Dispenza is about living your new reality after implementing the meditative process to create a new mind and future. The author emphasizes the importance of being transparent and demonstrating the changes you have made to yourself and your life to the people around you. By doing so, you create a ripple effect that can inspire others to make positive changes in their own lives. Dispenza also talks about the need to let go of your old self and embrace your new self, which may mean making different choices and leaving behind relationships or habits that no longer serve you. This can be a challenging process, but it is necessary to truly live in alignment with your new reality. The author also emphasizes the importance of consistency in maintaining your new reality. This means continuing to practice the meditative process and staying mindful of your thoughts and actions to ensure that you are always moving forward in a positive direction. In conclusion, the key takeaway from this chapter is that creating a new reality for yourself requires not only inner work but also external action and consistency. By being transparent and demonstrating your new reality to others, you can inspire positive change in the world around you. Conclusion In the conclusion of Breaking the Habits of Being Yourself, Joe Dispenza emphasizes the importance of taking control of our thoughts and emotions in order to create the life we desire. He reminds readers that our thoughts have the power to shape our reality and that by changing our thoughts, we can change our lives. Dispenza also highlights the idea that change is a process that requires consistency, persistence, and discipline. He encourages readers to continue to practice the meditative techniques outlined in the book in order to reinforce new patterns of thought and behavior. Furthermore, Dispenza emphasizes the role of gratitude and compassion in the process of transformation. He encourages readers to cultivate a deep sense of gratitude for the present moment and to extend compassion to ourselves and others as we navigate the challenges of change. Overall, the conclusion of breaking the habits of being yourself reinforces the message that transformation is possible for anyone willing to put in the work. By taking responsibility for our thoughts and emotions and consistently practicing new patterns of behavior, we can create the life we desire and ultimately break free from the limiting habits of our past.